Welcome back everyone, day two of week 14. If you remember the last video, I was actually recording just moments ago to explain that this is the last time I've recorded since day five. And we are back into the training life, going in for a run this morning. Don't got a great deal of time, but want to make the best of it. So got 45 minutes. I'm basically going to run for 45 minutes and see how far I get. Sounds fun. Aiming for about five and a bit miles, maybe six. We'll see how it goes, but excited to be back. Let the run begin and the week. Also, just wanted to point out, I really hope I don't need to poo, but we will see. Oh boy, three miles done in about 24 minutes, felt really good, but uh, left ankles acting up a little bit. I'm gonna just do a slow little walk off, hopefully uh, finish up the 45 minute run. Good old injuries. Wow, we ended up finishing the 45 minute run and I got about 5.4 miles, about eight minutes, 10 seconds, a mile pace. Felt nice. Extremely tired though. Whew. Feeling really good coming in three weeks out of the Ironman though. Whew. And now, off to work. It is uh, swim time. Here we go. Wow. What an incredible swim session. Easily the best one of my life so far. It just felt so good. Like that was, that was good. Feeling really nice. Coming in, coming out two and a half weeks from the, uh, from the half Ironman, but wow. Swam a total of 1,200 yards, but all in all, I was going quick for my pace at least, did 1,200 yards, two main sets of 500 yards each, did it in about 21 minutes or something. And I found out that apparently if I don't do the paddleboard and don't use my legs and wear them out before I swim, it feels much better. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. On my big swim days, I'm going to not use the paddleboard beforehand to warm up and kill my legs. I'm just gonna go for the swim and warm up really slow beforehand. Feeling great. Gonna aim for like a nice big swim in two days. For day four, nice big swim. Really wanna feel it out what it feels like. And that is gonna be a wrap for day two, everyone. Cannot wait to see what I'm doing tomorrow because I still don't know. Alrighty. I just finished a bike ride to mark the start of day three of week 14. The GoPro was out of battery so I couldn't record the beginning, but now we are done. 15 minute bike ride around 17 miles an hour pace. Felt really nice and I'm gonna do a swim today. Let the day begin. We are off to swim. I'm gonna try to hit about 1,500 yards. Nice and light. Don't know how big the sets are gonna be, but just gonna feel it out today. Here we go. Swim is over and wow, that was beautiful. Got in the water, started feeling really good. It was just swimming with my arms with the thing between my legs. And then I was gonna do 500 yards and I was just like, you know what, I'll do a thousand. And then after a thousand, I was like, you know what? I'll do 2000. And so I just did a 2000 yard swim in one go in 40 minutes. Best run yet. Good morning everyone. What is going on? Day four, week 14. It is almost two weeks out at this point and we are going for a run. Still sore from two days ago. I gotta push through. Today I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, today I'm gonna try to see, see how fast I can run one mile and I'm gonna do a little bit of a warm up and then do the fastest one mile I can. I have no idea what I'm going for. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can for one mile, see what time I get. Here we go. All right, that was just super exhausting. The hardest thing I've done in terms of running so far. I just gave it my all and it said I ran at about eight minutes a mile. There's no way that's possible. So there's actually like no way that that is 
that is possible because I ran three or four miles at going around that pace and it felt easier. So I'm pretty sure the tracking was completely off because I was going way faster than I ever have and it told me I actually ran slower than I ran two miles before too. So that's unfortunate that I don't get an accurate reading. But wow, that was a really good experience. I feel like I'm gonna do that more often. Next couple weeks or next week, try that a couple more times and uh, hopefully get an accurate reading because I was definitely going under seven minutes a mile from my, uh, my experience from the previous runs. Hello, everyone. This is all late, much later than I did my swim, but I forgot to bring my GoPro. So I am reporting late in the evening did the swim at lunch, but let me tell you about the swim. The swim was something else. So, as you may recall, yesterday, yesterday, I swam 2,000 yards in one go. So, 2,000 yards straight with just my arms. And today, I got back into the pool, and I really didn't have anything planned, to be honest. Just started swimming both my arms and my legs this time and I was like this feels nice this feels really good and so I kept going and going and it just kept feeling good and then I looked at my watch and I was done 2,250 yards well obviously I wasn't that unaware of what I was doing but it felt almost like that I was basically just done out of nowhere. Straight, 2,250 yards, equivalent to about 2,000 meters, which is what I will be swimming at the actual half Ironman. And I, I did it today without much problems, to be honest. Felt quite incredible. I just thought of something funny in my head. Maybe for training, it'd be kind of fun to like double the distance so that I feel super confident doing half of it during the actual race. So I think sometime next week, I'm gonna try to aim for something around a 4,500 yard swim just for the hell of it. And we'll see how it goes. It sounds like a pretty fantastic idea to me. I'm excited to see how I feel. But this was a great day. Day four complete. Good morning. Everyone, day five. Yes, it is day five of week 14 and another beautiful day out here and we're going for a bike ride. But today, today is going to be a little different. I'm gonna bike and then transition to the run. I gotta practice the transition and here we go. We're about to start the practice. Gonna try this for the next week or so, really get into practicing this transition and get used to it because I heard it's uh, it's a little challenging to run after you bike. So that's what we're gonna do. And see how it goes, but just covering the logistics, it's kind of interesting. Because I don't really have a tri suit, so I don't wanna run in my bike shorts. So I'm actually wearing boxers under my bike shorts, which I will then take off my bike shorts and put on regular shorts. And then because my bike shorts are the bib ones, I have to take off my shirt to take off the bike shorts. I'm just gonna put on a new shirt anyways. And then I gotta put my Vibram shoes on. We're gonna see how long that transition really takes. But it will be a good test for the actual competition. Here we go. 30 minute bike into a 30 minute run. Bike ride complete. Time to transition to the run and see how we're feeling. All right, out we go. Feeling honestly not too bad. I'll see how I feel after 30 minutes. Definitely feeling slower than if I just started running without the bike, but hopefully after a little bit of running, it just feels normal again. Let's see how we go. Oh man, just finished the first mile. This is way harder after a bike ride. Holy moly, going at just under 10 minutes a mile. Super slow and just calves feel like they're cramping up. They're super tight. Jeez, big difference. Let's see how we feel by three miles. Done about two and a half miles. Really need to poo again. This is awful. Today, 
I need to do some research on these poop pills. That is very important. Probably gonna walk off this last half mile, but good learning experience. Really good learning experience to see how it feels like running after the bike ride. Gonna just continue doing this probably for the rest of this next week and really get used to it because this is something I need to be able to do for the half iron. Heading out to LA tonight. Gonna see if I can squeeze in a couple of runs tomorrow, which is day six, Saturday, day seven, Sunday. And then Monday, we'll be right back at it. And we're gonna still do a swim today. I forgot about that. Light swim, probably just work on the legs. And that's that, day five. It is swim time. Just gonna use some legs today and go super light. All right, swim is complete. And went pretty light today. Did about 400 yards of kicking and then 400 yards of just using my arms. And with my arms, I decided to push myself a little bit, see what the fastest 400 yards I could do was. And it took me six minutes and 40 seconds, which is really not that amazing. I spoke to one of my friends that swam competitively and she said, she said that basically, if I want to be a university level swimmer as a male, I should be able to swim about 500 yards in under five minutes. So just a comparison, 500 yards under five minutes is what I should be able to do. And I just did 400 yards in six minutes and 40 seconds. So less distance, more time. And that was basically my best effort. Well then, I got some work to do. But it was just fun to see how close I really was. Anyways, that is the end of day five. And we'll see how much training we can get done in these next two days in LA. Of course. All oh right. my god, that is intense garlic. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good, Good morning, Vietnam. evening, everyone. We are ready to go to LA. Everyone in the back is super excited, right, Tara? Woohoo! <laughs> Say hi, Matt. Matt's driving. Hello! I've only made eight wrong turns. All right, and we are sleeping in a vehicle tonight, and tomorrow morning I am going for a run. I'm YouTube fan. I cannot wait. Say hi, brother. Hi, brother. Very good. Hello! Hi, sister. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we Good should morning. cross right now. It is day six of week 14, and we are in LA. And today is a non-training day, because we are going to be relaxing on the beach with many, many other people. And there seems to be some, sh some street performer here. We're gonna take a look at. When we say make some noise, Y'all we'll make some noise! Everybody, make some noise! Brother, you got your head around the video. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like the city or you're saying here? All yeah, right. Right here. Hey, show, show them the Hollywood sign. This, this hey, video means yeah, it's not that you can don't show them the Hollywood sign. We are in Hollywood and we are still not training today, but we're out here. We're out here, baby. <laughs> we out here. Yeah. And that's that's Los Angeles. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. We are still in LA. It is day seven, week 14, and we have yet to do any training today and probably not going to be doing any training today. So we took a break yesterday. We're taking a break today. <laughs> we're, we're two weeks out. Maybe not the right call, but uh, we'll hopefully get right back to it tomorrow. We're actually leaving LA at around 10 p.m. So we're gonna get back at like four. <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna get much sleep. So training tomorrow should be fun. But then we'll get right back into it. Oh, you good. So that's a, that's a wrap for week 14, right, Tara? Oh, yes. Very good. Great wrap, so much training. <laughs>